Hey guys, Dayoongi here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Chai Yena's comeback, all the buzz and controversy surrounding it, and hopefully now the music video has been released, we can discuss it and its themes in a bit more detail to see if we can figure out the meaning behind it all. On the 27th of June, Chai Yena made her comeback with the single album Hate XX, with the title being named Hate Rodrigo featuring Yuki of Idol. Those of us on K-pop social media may have already seen some of this, but there was quite quite a lot of, I'd say, shock surrounding this comeback as soon as it was announced, mainly due to the name of the song seemingly calling out one of the most popular young artists at the moment by name, Olivia Rodrigo. For those who don't know, Olivia Rodrigo is an American singer-songwriter who first started out on the Disney Channel and then released one of the most popular albums of 2021, led by the extremely viral song Driver's License. I personally love Olivia, a lot of people do, I think she's extremely talented and I even had the pleasure of seeing her live in up last year and I can confirm she's just as talented in real life. So with all that being said and how much of a strong following Olivia has, fans of Yena were really hoping that Yena using Olivia's surname was all going to be just a big coincidence because after all Rodrigo is quite a popular Spanish name. But as soon as the teasers dropped it was now completely obvious that the song or at least music video were going to reference Olivia in some way. Her face was plastered all over posters in the video with hate Rodrigo written across them. There was a scene of Yena eating ice ice cream in the car, which looked almost identical to a scene of Olivia eating ice cream in the car during her music video for the song Deja Vu. And even the aesthetic of the video and artwork were identical to that of Olivia's album Sour. As you can imagine, this gained some mixed reactions. Some fans immediately started to theorise that Yena was simply using Olivia as an example of a young person in the music industry and how people hate them. Other people simply just thought that this was Yena's label Yuehua, I'm so sorry if I butchered that name, I feel like I did, using a very popular American artist for clout, and that this was going to just make Yena look bad, and even worse, if Olivia or somebody on her team took it the wrong way, could they even take legal action for using Olivia's image without her permission? Well, we didn't even know at this point if they had her label's permission. During the lead up to the music video's release, Yena actually spoke out to address some of the controversy, explaining that she actually also loves Olivia Rodrigo and is a fan of her, but admittedly was jealous of how much she shines. So in this video, she's saying that she hates her to express that jealousy, not because she actually dislikes her. The label also backed this up by confirming the song is going to be about that feeling young people have of envying people around them who seem to have it all. So they say they hate them out of jealousy. If this is the case, it is clever because it's an important and real topic and Olivia herself also has a song on her album titled Jealousy Jealousy, which talks about that feeling of being envious of those around you who are beautiful and seemingly have a better life than you. However, some fans fans still wanted to see how they would address such an important topic in the music video and if they were going to do it justice or again if it's just a cheap money grab. So that takes us to the present day, where Yena's music video has now been released for Hate Rodrigo. Let's look at the video in a bit more detail to see if we can decipher the full story and themes. It goes without saying, but please note that these are just my opinions and what I think is happening based on my own observations. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. The music video opens with Yena pulling up in a car, eating ice cream. This is the scene which people have noticed is pretty much identical to that of Olivia Rodrigo's Deja Vu music video. I had a feeling that this would have to make it to the MV, because that's like one of the clearest ties between Yena and Olivia here. Then we see Yena in what seems to be her bedroom. I think it's designed to look exactly like a teenager's bedroom, with like a bit of mess and posters plastered all over the wall, some of which, of course, are Olivia Rodrigo. There's also some other music-related memorabilia on the wall too, so I think it's very clear, even early on in this video, that they are trying to insinuate that Yena or the character she's playing in the video are both a fan of music and Olivia because why would you have posters on your bedroom wall of somebody you hated? We're only like 20 seconds in but I low-key love the next part. In the lyrics Yena is saying she dresses differently rather than wearing high heels she wears boots. The lyrics say I'm not somebody who imitates others. The camera then pans to the copy of Olivia Rodrigo's Sour album that Yena has and she stands in front of it and says what are you talking about? What are they saying? Pay no mind. This is low-key 
sneaky clever because it immediately calls out exactly all the backlash they knew they were going to get. When the teasers came out looking identical to Olivia's sour era aesthetic, people were immediately jumping up and down saying Yenna is copying Olivia. And this is her saying early on in the music video, I'm not somebody who copies other people so don't listen to what they're saying. The lyrics then move on to talk about how Yenna's mum sees her smoky eyed makeup and says oh my god look at you, you're grounded. But then Yenna asks her TV to turn on because she's so bored while she sees of course her idols and then she's looking at pictures of Olivia on her computer and says well hey I look just like her so sort of like why am I getting in trouble when she's idolised for looking the way she looks. When we reach the chorus it's a scene where Yenna is dancing with backup dancers dressed in school uniforms. Further emphasising that this song is meant to be representing young people and how they feel. The lyrics say hey you call 911 I think I'm gonna be in trouble. I think people are going to think she means she's going to get into trouble for doing this song that so heavily references Olivia Rodrigo but I personally think here that Yenna means she's going to get into trouble for calling out something people don't want to hear which is that young people can and do get jealous of each other and that's when they claim they hate each other when it's just really that feeling of jealousy even more so in this industry where they are of sort of similar ages and striving for similar dreams. It's probably natural to think well why is this person more successful than me or why do I get berated for the same things they get praised for? The lyrics move on to say love this song good for me. I'm pretty certain this is a reference to the fact that Olivia Rodrigo has a song called Good For You on her album because they are both stylized the same way with the number four. That song is about how somebody moved on after a breakup when you couldn't. Of course I don't believe that in this context Yenna is using it to describe a breakup because there's no other mentions of that in the video. I think she's more just saying yeah good for me that I am happy and content with who I am and what I'm doing. During this scene it also flashes to Yenna dancing in a school hallway where students are awkwardly shuffling around her and trying to avoid her because she's a bit more out there and unique and of course people are always afraid of anything that doesn't really stick to the status quo. What I think is also cool here is that she's doing one of the dance moves from Idol's Queen card choreography. Of course we all know that Yuki of Idol does appear in this song but I think it's quite a nice nod to other women in the industry of a similar age who will likely be in a similar position to her feeling the same way but that it's okay because what they're doing is also iconic and they should be able to be proud of themselves and everything they've achieved so far regardless of what people around them think. She's reminding them to stay authentic to themselves no matter what the sort of reactions are around them. The chorus then moves on to say this isn't even a crush oh my god you're my star I'm not jealous Rodrigo. I think we can take this pretty literally as it means exactly what Yenna is saying and it supports what she said before the song even came out. This part of the song is kind of like a love letter to somebody like Olivia Rodrigo who she admires not even in like a crush kind of way it's more than that she's like a star to her and an idol. She's not jealous of her she just admires her. Let's move on to the next verse which is Yuki's verse. Yuki comes out and sits next to Yenna at the lunch table where nobody seems to want to sit with her probably because she is representing something different. They have the exact same style as if they're representing the same kind of person. In one of her first lines Yuki even says hi there how do you like my style look at me and Yenna immediately agrees and says she likes it but they do look pretty much the same. In the next scene Yuki is now in Yenna's bedroom with her as if they've become immediate friends and while Yenna plays around on a guitar in the background Yuki says mom this is trendy nowadays stop nagging. Now I know for a fact that I would not have spoken to my friends as mom like that when I was younger but I think the fact that they are in the same room that Yenna was in the beginning then we can gather that they're at least at Yenna's house. Whether or not this scene is implying that Yuki is talking to Yenna's mom or her own I'll admit I'm not sure but I think it makes sense that if Yuki is talking to her own mom that would imply that she gets the sort of nagging that a teenager of this age would get and similar to what Yenna was experiencing earlier in the video too about her style. In the beginning I mentioned how Yenna was interested not just in Olivia Rodrigo but in music in general by the items on her wall. Well we get a clear idea in the next scene that Yenna is interested in making music so now we can sort of gather that the Yenna in the video is meant to represent real life Yenna and not just an ordinary teenager. We see Yuki in a recording booth implying that the two are going to record this song together because it says recording hate Rodrigo across the bottom of the screen. Yuki's lines here say my reflection in the mirror oh my god I love it every day. I don't know if they meant to do this but this is the second and third idol reference in this song. The my reflection in the mirror line pardon the pun mirrors a line from the idol song queen card where one of Yuki's lines in the second verse say your reflection in the mirror keeps getting prettier. This could be an absolute coincidence but it is a nice continuation from the story of queen card where they're discussing trying to love themselves in a world where women are taught to always want to be prettier and look up to the people around them. Again it's quite a similar theme to this song. The other link I found here to idol was in the repetition of the phrase 
Oh My God and I will also have a song called Oh My God. Again, this could merely just be a coincidence but I would like it not to be because not only does it make sense with the song because it's something that teenagers say a lot but it also makes sense with the feature being Yuki too. Before we move away from Yuki's verse and back to Yena, it shows Yena watching back Yuki in the booth on her computer and what is interesting here is that she looks kind of frustrated which is weird because we saw all throughout the verse what great friends they became. So why is she looking at her own friend in frustration? Well I think this is to represent that feeling of jealousy that Yena and the label mentioned they were going to portray throughout the video. The jealousy feeling isn't just aimed at only Olivia specifically, it's in general. And here we are showing that she is jealous of Yuki as well. She has a MIDI keyboard next to her on the desk which are used to create music so she'll probably be thinking why can't I make music as good as this person? Even though she loves this friend she can't help but be envious of her talent, her confidence etc. This is exactly the same as how Yana is represented in the video as being a fan of Olivia Rodrigo but still low-key being jealous of how great and talented she is. Yana then kind of pouts and collapses onto the floor again in frustration seemingly thinking that she is not good enough, saying that she's bored and feels a roller coaster of emotions today. I don't want to appeal too much to stereotypes but I do think it's interesting that the feeling of I'm bored is referenced quite a few times throughout this video. Teenagers are known for getting quite bored easily or wanting to move on for things whenever they don't feel like they're succeeding in it and I know that's a stereotype and it's not fair to pin everyone with the same brush but a lot of the time it is perceived that teenagers get bored of things quickly so that might be why it's referenced in this video and I know for a fact a lot of us will have been able to relate to that feeling of a roller coaster of emotions during our time as a teenager where sometimes you feel happy and confident enough to achieve anything and others you simply feel weak. It's a really tough time in your life for any young person but fortunately Yana's friend Yuki here stands over her and kind of shakes her head as if to say we're going to shake you out of this and pulls her up. The line before the chorus says something fun is about to happen which again further emphasizes that idea of getting yourself out of a rut. We then go to the chorus which starts with the two of them running out onto a rooftop. Yena is now fully cheered up and they are dancing around happily together to the chorus. During the chorus we see a file uploading on Yena's computer and it's actually an mp3 file of the exact song we're listening to which they have clearly worked on together in this story. I think this implies that Yuki helped her realize that she has all the talent in the confidence she needs to share her work. So in this story, that is when they have decided to hit upload on their masterpiece. Interestingly, the artwork on the upload is a picture of Yena and I can't help but notice how strikingly similar it looked to the aesthetic that Yuki herself had in the Queen card era, especially with the bandana on her head. Again, this could just be me reading far too much into things, but because we haven't yet seen that look on Yena in the video, it is nice to think that this is a subtle nod not just to the era of Y2K fashion, but also to Yuki and the Queen card video and concept about how we can all be a queen card. As soon as the girls upload the song it gets hundreds and thousands of hearts and likes. The girls are so excited and suddenly we see Yena's face all over the cover of huge magazines such as the Rolling Stone. It shows a website selling tickets to Yena's show which are selling out. This is the part of the video that represents Yena's talent and her uploading a song such as this one which is so out there and so out of the ordinary but that is what will succeed in the long run because she's staying true to her authentic self. The song is a hit and goes viral and the whole time she stayed true to Yana while doing it. She could have listened to her mum who said wear less makeup or the people around her at school who looked uncomfortable but she doesn't and in the end she gets the last laugh when she succeeds. During the bridge we see Yana backstage heading out to the concert we just saw tickets flying out for. A member of staff seems to be giving her instructions while they head out to stage. While we hear the lyrics my head keeps spinning around I really like you goodbye to this hellish world and we see Yana rising up from what seems to be under underneath the stage to stage for what seems to be a big concert. But when we next see Yena and she says the line goodbye to this hellish world, there are fireworks and she is suddenly back on the same rooftop where she started. She's still dressed like she's about to go on stage at her sold out show and I really like how subtle this is because it's kind of implying you don't have to sell out arenas or stadiums to be a star. She's still back at that same humble beginnings where she was dancing on the rooftop with Yuki trying to find that confidence. In the lyrics goodbye this hellish world, I think Yena is in implying here that she means the world in which young people and of course artists especially are expected to envy each other or are made to feel like they have to. You want to get the most streams, sell out the biggest concert venue, have the biggest following and Yena does this in this video but for the final performance scene she's still back on the same rooftop where she started because everybody's idea of success is different and if success for you looks like just simply being able to stand in the mirror and say I'm proud of what I did today and I stayed true and authentic to myself then you two are a winner. I'd also like to point out that now the backup dancers are no longer in 
women's school uniforms, they are dressed in proper red sort of stage outfits. This could represent the change in Yenna in the video, who is now more successful. Or we could go deeper and say it represents the dancers also stepping outside of the box. And the people who were previously restricted to the school uniforms are now also saying goodbye to that world of judgment and feeling like you need to stick to the status quo to fit in. While the extended final chorus plays, we see photos of young Yenna flash across the screen. In the same aesthetic as the Olivia Rodrigo Sour album that people were originally accusing Yenna of copying. The stickers across the screen when we see baby Yenna say things like superstar and yes I love music which imply that this is always what she's wanted to do. She isn't copying anyone and she's a star in her own right. The fact that we are no longer in the chorus and it's Yenna repeating the lines you are my star over and over again. I'd like to think she's now directing this to herself rather than Olivia Rodrigo or another artist. She's calling herself a star because she is. For younger Yenna she is now exactly the person she wanted to be, a successful artist, a star. When it shows Yenna and Yuki at their canteen table again, the sticker next to Yenna says hate and the one next to Yuki says XX. While we know this is literally the name of Yenna's single album Hate XX, it's almost as if the video is implying that Yenna was the one who had this feeling of hatred because she had the envy and then the Yuki in the video helped her see that it wasn't necessary, hence the XX. And now the album title does make a lot more sense. It's like Yenna is saying there is no hatred there anymore. Anymore. When it shows this scene and when it next shows Yenna saying I'm not jealousy Rodrigo, there's also a sticker in the bottom corner that says happier. Another one of the songs on Olivia Rodrigo's Sour album is called Happier, but this song references hoping that somebody you dated is happy now they moved on, but not as happy as they were with you. Similarly to when Yenna says good for me in the chorus, I do think that this one is also got to be a reference to the Olivia Rodrigo song, but not for its original meaning again, because there's no mention of a breakup in this song. I think this sticker was placed here on purpose during this part of the video to imply that Yenna herself is happier now that she no longer has these feelings of jealousy. The next verse is sort of an outro where Yenna says, hey what makes you so cool? Kind of saying, why should I be jealous of all these people that I'm looking up to? And then the next line, hate you, I feel pathetic. I think Yenna is saying that she actually feels pathetic for ever hating her in the first place, or people like her, because there was really no need to feel like you hate somebody just because you are jealous of them. It's more about accepting that feeling of jealousy. And then this is back up by the next and final line of the song which is I'm not jealousy anymore. I love that this line is what finishes up the song because it does confirm that yes she is now able to admit that she was jealous of her. In the beginning of this song where she's saying listen I'm not jealous of this person, admittedly she kind of was but now she's seen the value in herself as an artist and individual and she's able to comfortably sit there and say okay fine I admit that I was jealous and I don't know why because I'm a star too so I'm not jealous anymore. Before the credits roll which we have to discuss us too. The last scene of the video is a glowing sign which says hate Rodrigo, musicians on musicians. I think this is implying that this song isn't just about Yenna's feeling towards Olivia Rodrigo and how she envied her, but this song goes deeper than that and we're actually looking more at how musicians and artists feel about other musicians. They don't necessarily hate each other per se, but it is very easy to look at an artist who of a similar age to you and think why are they more successful than me? Especially even more so if you have a pretty similar concept to them like Yenna does in this video. This part is Yenna saying on screen that she's speaking as a musician for musicians about how they are made to feel about one another. Okay let's quickly address those credits before I give my final thoughts because I think one of the big roaring questions people had in the beginning when the teasers were released was did Yenna's label get permission from Olivia's label to do this? Some fans were even wondering if there would be a small cameo in the video from Olivia. I think we get our answer in these credits and I think the credits confirm that the answer to this is no. I don't really think that Olivia's label Interscope Records really had any idea this was happening, although I'm sure enough people have sent this video to Olivia now that she probably has seen it. At the end of the credits, we see the words take inspiration from Olivia Rodrigo, dedicate this music video to her. I mean, this could be as literal as the label saying, yeah, sure, send this video to Olivia so she can see it. But I think the wording choice here can imply a little more. Take inspiration from Olivia and dedicate this video to her can sort of imply that it's absolutely fine to take inspiration from artists like Olivia Rodrigo and how much they've achieved so young. But don't forget to dedicate this video to her in a sense that there is no use in hating people who seem 
queens have better lives than you, like Olivia herself also implied in her song Jealousy Jealousy. I think it's also important to note that throughout the song, rather than saying I'm not jealous Rodrigo, Yena actually says I'm not jealousy Rodrigo. I don't think the English grammar error was on accident here, I think it was done on purpose to reference the song Jealousy Jealousy by Olivia Rodrigo. As Olivia herself has also experienced the same sort of feelings in the past and explained them in her song Jealousy Jealousy, this video sort of goes out to her and other young artists like her who are made to feel smaller than their peers. This is sort of to like let her know and others around them that they are not alone in this feeling. Hence why I think the words are dedicate this to Olivia so she can sort of see that she was not alone in this feeling and that while she was out there envying other people, hey people were envying you too. Okay, let's wrap this video up with my final thoughts on the whole video and concept. I will admit, when I first saw the teasers and concept for the video, I was in the same boat as everybody who was worried with what they were going for her. I understood the concept, and after hearing Yena's words on it, I was like, okay, but I wasn't sure how well it would come across in the final product. Fortunately, I think they portrayed the idea really well. I kind of clocked on immediately what they were doing when the video started to play, and hopefully a lot of people will too. I think it was an extremely smart move from the label to upload the video with official English subtitles from the very beginning, so there weren't any misunderstandings of Yena saying she hates Olivia Rodrigo out of context. That was really important and I think it shows that they clearly did put some thought into the execution and how well it would come across. As a whole, I do really love this video, I love the aesthetic. I also did a video a few months back explaining Idol's recent comeback music video for Queen Card in a similar way, and although Yena's song is specifically talking about artists, I think we can see a lot of crossovers in the two stories across these two songs. Which is why I thought it was even better to have Yuki feature on this song. So I love Yuki's cameo and how much it added to the story. I think it worked perfectly. This video slash song is portraying an important message. How will Olivia's label react to such heavy use of her face and image and name? I have no idea. But I think it is very clear that it wasn't done in any sort of malice. While Olivia's song Jealousy Jealousy kind of touches upon young people in general feeling jealous of those around you after seeing those gorgeous people living idealistic lives on social media, Yenna's song kind of adds on to this, sort of agreeing and then going one step further to say, artists also admittedly are out here feeling the same about other artists. It's really important that young people have other young people around them who they are more likely to be influenced by, to remind them that these sorts of feelings are absolutely normal and not mutually exclusive to just yourself, so don't worry, you are not alone. A lot of people will see those around them and also feel inadequacies in their own life as a result of this, but songs like Queen Car by Idol, Jealousy Jealousy by Olivia Rodrigo, and now Hate Rodrigo by Yena will also help remind young people that this feeling won't last forever. Okay guys, and that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching if you got this far. I have been talking for a very long time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on this music video in the comments down below. Do you agree with the sorts of things I saw or did you notice anything I might have missed? If you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell. That'll let you be the first to hear whenever I upload and I will see you next time. Bye guys.